counseling with that woman at that well. Me and my been struggling. We've been struggling all night. Yeah. I don't care too much to preach about her. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Because uh-huh. she was a Samaritan. Uh-huh. And she didn't have no relationship uh-huh. with God. Not only that, the sister was a hoe. Say, man, I'm not talking about no thirst for no liquor and alcohol, for your beer, for your sad 
drink, amen. I'm not talking about no craving for something that's not like that. But do you have a thirst for righteousness, amen? There was a man named Jesus. Hey, help God. Go ahead, go ahead. That went back Samaritan. The Bible let us know that he was tired, he was weary, and he went back Jacob's way. And the Bible said it was in the hot part of the day. Uh-huh. Amen. And Jesus, at this time, right, the women normally, the you know, Samaritan women, the women normally that would go after water and draw from that well would go early in the morning. Somebody said early. 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 But how many of y'all know being late ain't too late? Amen. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you, God operates in our expectations. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes God will take us, take us out of our comfort zone yeah. so that he can bless us. Yeah. Yeah. And the scripture tells us that, 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 that this woman, this woman went to Jacob's well. And, amen. When we get the time for chapter John, she went to Jacob's well and she got something she didn't expect. Yeah. Now, here's this Jew sitting at the well. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and I'm paraphrasing. I'm going to be jumping all in the scriptures, but run with me. The Bible says to let us know that she even asked him, What is a Jew doing? At the well. At the well. What you doing here at the well? Jews don't hang out at the well. Uh-huh. Oh my God, hallelujah. Like we say, unbelievers don't hang out with believers. But if you are a true believer, I don't care about an unbeliever hanging out with me. Because what's in me should rub off the I can't say it. If I really got some true power anointing, come on with your unbelief. I got something to rub off of. Woo! I become a living well and I can allow you to draw. And Jesus said, Give me a drink. Pour into me. Yeah. <laughs> That's all he was saying. Amen. Pour into me. Absorb me. Run after me. Yeah. Come after me. He said, give me a drink. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. I reminded of a prophet that told a woman, <laughs> said, look, yeah. if you want to be blessed, not blessed, but listen to what I'm saying, make me a cake. Yeah. Uh, take all that you have and absorb of me. Y'all missing this. Yes, uh, all y'all here. Okay. Because in order for us to get from God, we got to be able to give. What are you willing to give? I'm going to show you something for that blessing. What are you willing to give that God can take and begin to multiply and bless? See, it's just like, it's just like if you give him a penny, uh, he'll multiply and give you ten. But you got to have something to give. He said, if you give, y'all want to see no message, y'all looking at me crazy like uh-huh. I'm on the But Luke 4 came up in the room and it said, give, and it shall be given back to you. So I'm asking you, what shall you give God? He said, give me. It's a principle here. What are you willing to give? What are you willing to give up? What are, what are you willing to give unto me? What are you willing to pour into me that I can take that that you give to me and bless you? I said something. Hey, see, nothing for nothing. This is what the world said. Leave nothing. Uh, you got to have something. Hallelujah. What they're going to say if you really want to be with me. But that's the same thing with God. You got to walk with me. Because you got to have something. To give. That's why he said, whosoever will, let him come. You ain't going to come as you are, but you got to be willing to give. Present your body as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto him, which is your reasonable service. What are you willing to give? We want all that we can get from God, but we don't want to give nothing. We surely don't want to give up nothing. I said something. Because when you really want to give, you got to give up something. The Bible says, she said, give, Jesus said, give me a drink. And that's what she went into all this for. So, you know, we, we got to have it. That reminded that man that that proved. He said, do you want to be made clean? No. Well, you know, I've been sitting here 38 years. Ain't nobody, nobody helped me go in here. Yeah. Ain't nobody done nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> for me. <laughs> she said, that's what He said, do you want to be made? Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Higher, higher. Jesus asked her about the Samaritan. Now, he didn't ask all that stuff she went rambling about. All he asked her was to give me a drink. He said, because if you knew who I am, <laughs> if you know that I'm a for God, if you really know who I am, uh, you'll be asking me for a drink. 